LeVar Ball's big baller AAU team held a nine-point lead in a playoff game when he pulled the team off the court, objecting to a ref's call, then was given a technical foul. They were forced to forfeit. Problem with what he did? Well, I've seen it so many times uh, by different coaches, different dads, uh, throughout recreational ball, AAU ball. I wasn't there at the game. So this is why I'm going to say I don't have a problem with it. Because sometimes, as a dad, sometimes as a coach, you got to make decisions that you feel are best based on what your players are going through, based on how your players are being treated. This isn't NCAA. It's not actually high school. And when you take this role, now, I'm not saying he passed down the right lesson. But when you take this role as a volunteer coach to have an AAU team or to have a team that you coach, you take the role as father. You take the role as somebody who is going to look out for their best interests no matter what the situation is. It's not about wins. It's not about losses. It's about teaching life lessons. I don't know if it's the right life, life lesson to say walk off when you're not being treated well, right? But it's also not the right life lessons to say let people treat you whichever way they want to. And so for me, just for me, I feel like this is a topic of discussion because of the man coaching the team. Okay. And what has led to this point? I know. You may not know, but I know. All right. This is a horrendous life lesson. You got all the stuff leading up to your conclusion right. This is important time in these guys' lives. It's not NCAA. It certainly isn't professional. These are young men that you are teaching life lessons to. It is never right to take your ball and go home. It is not right. If it's not fair, by the way, you should watch the extended clip. There's five minutes where he goes outside and he talks to his team and says, I'm not going to let them cheat us. I'm not going to let them cheat us. You know what? Life isn't fair. By the way, they're winning by nine. You said that, Jen. Yeah, they they, that needs to be reinforced. They were winning. So he took a winning team off the court because he didn't like the calls. You're teaching those kids, take your ball and go home. Life and sports, one of the great reasons we love sports is it's a, it's a little metaphor for life, is you get some bad breaks. You get some bad calls. It's not fair. Maybe there's a ref who's not doing you right, but you play through it, and if you're good, you win anyway. You don't win anything by walking off. You don't win a single thing by taking your ball and going home. You don't win in life. You don't win in sports. You don't win anything. LeVar's a great marketer, period. Right. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they had the discussion as to why he did it. Right? Like you said, he went outside. They're not going to let him cheat us and all They did. Things. They laughed. They said it's the funniest so, thing I've ever seen. So what, It's on tape. Right. So <laughs> what I'm telling you is, though, like, it's not, it's not my place to say that this is a big deal. Right. Or that I disagree with it. I would have done something different. I would have taught things my way. But this is not my team. These are not the kids that parents entrusted to me to coach. This is LeVar Ball making these decisions. And though I disagreed when my dad did it and I was younger. Your dad did this? Though I dad disagreed. Did this right here? Not that one, but he's oh. done. He did similar things when I was playing. My dad's been kicked off a couple of facilities. You know, those were some things my mother and my father had to talk about when I got home. There was always a lesson when I got home that I understood. Now, whether or not they understood the lesson or LeVar, LeVar Ball was giving them a lesson that they should take out through life, that's on him. But when you make these decisions, when you take over these teams, those people are entrusted to you. And so I'm not going to say it's a big deal because I've seen people do this throughout life. And I refuse to keep making that everything LeVar Ball does a big deal. Maybe it's me just being a contrarian and saying, I don't want to keep perpetuating that every move this man makes needs to be talked about on TV. But this ain't a big deal to me.